Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. I've got a few paints. <laughs> Ultramarine blue, alizarin and crimson, a little bit of lemon yellow. Not sure if I'm going to use that really. I might make like a warm colour, I'm not sure. Uh, some ivory black and some... Uh, I've got three titanium whites. So I'm going to do a snowy mountain. I've got my knife, my detail knife ready. I have got a landscape knife as well, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> I seem to have a lot of detail knives around. I think it's because of my favourite ones, really, because you can really go for it and uh, be more detailed. Got one of these knives as well, which is different. You get a different sort of texture. When you uh, put the uh, paint on, you can sort of slop it on like that. It's a little bit different. But anyway, um, let's start by Putting in the background sky. My brushes are just in oil. I don't wash them. I just uh, leave them in some linseed oil, which has got some clove oil in to stop it from oxidizing. <sighs> Saves me the problem of cleaning, you see. So, get some crimson. Because it's a black canvas, I don't really need as much pigment. Crimson and blue. Let's get some of this white and have a look at the colour. Nice purpley sky. I'll put a bit more red in it. That's quite nice. So I'm going to start putting this in. I'm going to keep it there. Looks like a cloud going along there, maybe. Canvas is dry, by the way. There's nothing on the canvas. So dry. Got a bit of cloud shape. And what I might do is leave things quite dark as well. Brushes, see what I've got. <laughs> got my two inch brush actually. I've not used this in a while, see what it's like. Just want to use it to really blend my paint a little bit, move it around a little bit. Let's have a go. Make sure my canvas is held on quite well. Just kind of sit back, have a look at that. I like the way that red and the blue is sort of in there. I really like that. So I might grab a little bit of colour. Just throw a little bit more colour in here and there that I can kind of blend in a little bit. Yeah, I quite like that, that hint of blue, it's quite nice. Just gives it something extra, really. Maybe I'll do another layer, layer of it there as well. Just a little bit, like that. Let this uh, blend in. So 
So some of the colour is hitting, <laughs> hitting the dark. So we are getting like a bit of a, a mix there. Might get a little bit of light. Just imagine a bit more light hitting some of these areas. Imagine that light hitting this maybe. And then I can use my brush to some fun with it, make it a bit different here. But I like working on a dry canvas myself, but you can use a wet canvas, it makes it a little bit slicker and you can... Sometimes you can uh, get a different type of effect and there's nothing wrong with that. Whatever you like doing, it's the right way, isn't it? I think that's what we have to remember. What we like, <laughs> what you get the enjoyment out of, that's the right way. It all is all about enjoyment painting. I think it is anyway. I like to enjoy myself. It's like a game. <laughs> I'm going to use the uh, top of my brush just to mix that up a bit up there. Don't really want to attack the, uh, the light so much now. Just spin it around, give it a little bit of a lift. Okay, I quite like that. It's getting more interested in the sky now, isn't it? Getting a bit more, maybe there's a bit more light up there, just shooting across. Just added a little bit of colour on my brush then. A little bit of colour on it. Let's have a look at that. I quite like that. You can spend plenty of time, you know, doing your uh, clouds. You can use photos to get an idea of what you want to do, or you can use your imagination. Got a little bit of light hitting some of these as well. And then of course I'm going to put a mountain in front, so <laughs> I need to go too crazy with some of this. I think that'll do, I think that'll do me, I quite like that. Nice sky, that is. I like this bit here, it needs a bit more. I like that, little lots of little gaps and stuff. I do like that. Yeah, quite happy with that. I'll just go across it very lightly. Make sure I don't make the mistake of not having this go up there. Sometimes you can end up painting within your square and forgetting that the landscape is further along. So, something to think about when you're painting. Think about the uh, area going off the canvas and not just within it. Like that. okay. That'll do me, I like that. So now I'm going to start putting my mountain shape. I really want, I've got the mountain shape idea because I've painted it before using acrylics, but what I want is like a dark using the blues and reds and a little bit of black as well, a bit of ivory black. Very thin line of paint. Pull it out flat and then pull out a line of paint and I want to create my mountain peak which I'm going to have 
about there, I think. About there. I'll just put that in there. There's like that, and there's another one there. And down like that. Scrape away some of that excess. I'll have this going like that. So I'm going to pull that out, just to uh, knock my... I'm actually using an old towel. <laughs> I just knock my paint off the old towel, onto the old towel. <clears throat> then I can pull this paint out. the shape of the old mountain. And if you don't like doing this with these, the bigger brush, you can use a smaller brush to pull the, the uh, paint down so you can have a bit more control. You don't always have to use a, a great big brush. the uh, sky color so I'm going to use that but with more white in it more more white in the color so I'm just grabbing some more of that and we can pick out the uh, highlighted areas so you cut across a little roll of paint and then uh, we can start thinking about maybe it's up there Let it come down there. Then uh, over here. That should be, yeah, that comes down there. And then that. Needs to come in front and here. It's only on the top there as well. Maybe this can go to about there, maybe. I want to get this gap there as well. Don't want it to be a, a strong gap there. There's a uh, peak just behind here. What not? And then there's a uh, area here. Oh, I'm 
that. And then... This we've got another piece that comes about there. And that sort of joins up to this. kind of joins like this. And then it goes quite dull there. Like that. Yeah. A little bit more of the white, I think, into my colour. Just putting a bit more light in there, a bit more of the white, more of the pink, maybe. And build this up a bit better. Just sort of sitting back, having a look. <laughs> and then uh, maybe there's another piece that goes there. And then uh, there's a, I don't really like that shape. I need to round that bit there. Like that. And then I want another piece that goes like that. Catching the light. I also want to improve this top a little bit and that, and that top as well. Something like that. And then we can start looking at the other side, which I'm going to maybe put. I'm going to keep quite dark, mind you. So the other side I'm going to use a bit of the red, a bit of the blue. Some white in it, maybe a bit more of the blue actually. I want it to have a cold appearance. I don't want it to be too... And if you notice that I use my finger to pull that light back up. <laughs> Start looking at where there would be more shadow areas. You can pull it right across like this. And that's the way where you want it. You can do that. In this area, just get areas like that that have got lighter. You can just whack a bit more than yeah. Dark colour in and bring it across.
Use a bit more paint. Bring this one down here. This area so it needs to be needs to kind of be brought together a little bit. Don't want it to be too uh, sort of mix the paint a little bit, so we get like a, a cool area. We know. Because you're using the detail knife as well, I can really get in these little places. If you need any lighter areas, you can always put a little bit more white in your paint just to improve it. Or you can pull in a little bit of the light. Any area I want to sort of dull, I can get me off. I can use my finger, change it a little bit. Yeah, I think that'll, uh, that'll do me, I think. I like that. I might add a little bit more sort of a light blue there just to emphasize that. And then I can do the same there just to give that a little bit more so the lights a bit more reflected light hitting it <laughs> I've enjoyed that. Uh, now I'm gonna uh, just put a little bit of this at the uh, base just to smooth it out a little bit. sitting back having a look at that.
Now I want to put some trees in front. I want some trees. Now I could use light to create a bit of a separator. I might use a little bit of the blue within the light. There's a bit of mist there. And then what I can do is put some trees on it now because <laughs> you can you'll be able to see it now. That's the thing. You was thinking about how to see things in your painting because otherwise you've got dark, dark and dark and dark. <laughs> you don't see anything, but with the light there now, I put the tree in, you can see it. So I'm just gonna put a load of trees in here. Just touching and pulling down. I'm loading my brush. <laughs> Load the brush both sides, a bit of crimson, a bit of blue, a bit of red, a bit of black. Load, load the brush. I'm going to put in a load of trees. Nice forest. sitting back having a look at that. I quite like that, it's very loose isn't it? I quite like the looseness, especially around here. I'm just going to put in some a little bit more. But I really do like the looseness of it. And then I might put a bigger tree. Maybe we could uh, throw in a bit of snow. A bit of white and then maybe we'll have a bit of snow if the light's coming this way maybe we'll bring some snow in here A couple of levels there, go a bit lighter here just to separate that level from that level. Okay, and then what I might do this is such a nice little spot here for a tree, isn't there? <laughs> Perfect for a tree there, so let's just go for it. Something like this. Oh, maybe there's two. Someone's, someone's thinking three, I'm going to go with three then. And there as well. Corner of the brush, just touch in, press harder as you go down to get a bigger area. I 
like that. More on this one. Okay, that's a nice tree, stacks of trees. I like them. Now I'm going to wipe my brush. So what I want to do next is highlight these trees. I'll just use my knife a sec just to uh, just do a few uh, there's another couple of trees there. There's a few more now. But we'll highlight these ones. So I need to wipe my brush. I'm using the same brush. I don't like using many brushes because the more brushes I use, the more cleaning I've got to do. <laughs> So I'm a, a big advocate of uh, less is more. So I'll get some snow. So it's snow, it's not paint anymore, it's snow. So we get some of it. Load the brush. Quite a bit of paint on there. And all the, think about the light. Lights coming this way, so nice bit of uh, highlight. So if you use light pressure when you put your uh, highlights on, it doesn't pick up as much as the undercolour. I think that's an important thing to think about. Something like that. I'm tempted to put a bush in there. Let's see if I can do one. Just lob in some paint on this. Let's go. An icy like bush. More snow here. Something like that. Now I'm just having a look at the whole painting and then I can see areas that I want to just develop a bit more on the mountain because I've lost some of it. I lost this bit here a bit. I can use the brush just to add that back. Might even add another one sort of there. That's the thing, you can uh, have a look at it and see what you want to do. 
see how you want to improve things and you can always do that. There's no rushes there. Take the rush out. That's something I used to have to tell myself actually. Take the rush out of painting because I used to rush I used to rush through. Yeah, I quite like that. Maybe a bit more here. A bit more like movement there. I also think a bit more dark there as well. Just sort of sit back, have a look, see what you want to improve on. I want to just blend this bit a bit more. I think that looks a lot better. Maybe a Maybe a little bird or something. I was a little bird. <laughs> I think it would look good like flying there, but is that too high? <laughs> I do kind of want a little bird somewhere, maybe down here. Maybe a couple of them like there, maybe another one there. Yeah, I quite like them down there actually. Yeah, I think I'll call this one now. Um, enjoyed myself actually. Fun, fun painting that you could do, no problem. So I'll say thanks very much for watching this one and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.